Psalm 35 is full of urgent petitions to God for help against them that strive with me. Indeed, the enemies of the psalmist are cursed in the strongest terms. Let them be as dust before the wind. Let their way be dark and slippery. Let a sudden destruction come upon him unawares. It seems from the tone of the phrases used that God's help has been slow to appear, especially in these words, Lord, how long wilt thou look upon this? But alongside this longing for God to act, there are also words of thanksgiving and praise where one might have expected none. Perhaps this is the real sign of faith and trust in God, when we persist in giving thanks and praise, even when times are difficult. Plead thou my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me, and fight thou against them that fight against me. Lay hand upon the shield and buckler, and stand up to help me. Bring forth the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that imagine mischief for me. Let them be as the dust before the wind and the angel of the Lord scattering them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For they have privily laid their net to destroy me without a cause, yea, even without a cause have they made a pit for my soul. Let a sudden destruction come upon him unawares, and his net that he hath laid privily catch himself, that he may fall into his own mischief. And my soul be joyful in the Lord, it shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, who delivereth the poor from him that is too strong for him? Yea, the poor and him that is in misery from him that spoileth him. False witnesses did rise up, they laid to my charge things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good, to the great discomfort of my soul. Nevertheless, when they were sick, I put on sackcloth and humbled my soul with fasting and my prayer shall turn into mine own bosom. I behaved myself as though it had been my friend or my brother. I went heavily as one that mourneth for his mother. But in mine adversity they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yea, the very abjects came together against me unawares, making mouths at me, and see, said not. With the flatterers were busy mockers, who gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, how long wilt thou look upon this? O oh, deliver my soul from the calamities which they bring on me, and my darling from the lions. So will I give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. 
O let not them that are mine enemies triumph over me ungodly. Neither let them wink with their eyes that hate me without a cause. And why their communing is not for peace, but they imagine deceitful words against them that are quiet in the land. They gaped upon me with their mouths and said, Fie on thee, fie on thee, we saw it with our eyes. This thou hast seen, O Lord, hold not thy tongue, then go not far from me, O Lord. Awake and stand up to judge my quarrel, avenge thou my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not triumph over me. Let them not say in their hearts, there, there, so would we have it. Neither let them say, we have devoured him. Let them be put to confusion and shame together that rejoice at my trouble. Let them be clothed with rebuke and dishonor that boast themselves against me. Let them be glad and rejoice that favor my righteous dealing. Yea, let them say always, Blessed be the Lord who hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And as for my tongue, it shall be talking of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long.